New reaction from parents to Duval County's efforts to keep their children on the path to graduation. In a slight return to normalcy, instruction is scheduled to resume for students next week, although not in their classrooms. As part of the attempt to slow the spread of the virus, lessons will move online with students and teachers connecting with each other from home. News 4 Jacks reporter Kelly Wiley is breaking down what parents should do in this program okay. called Give Duval Homeroom and how this change is being handled. Kelly? Well, parents tell me this is going to be a challenge for them. Uh, they tell me they weren't having expecting to pay for daycare and to set daycare up for weeks on end. And some parents tell me they've been out of work, thus missing paychecks. Parents are preparing after the Duval School Superintendent announced school will resume Monday for students, only they'll be attending class from the safety of their own home. This comes as districts across the state plan to extend spring break for weeks to prevent the spread of the novel coronavirus. Parents like Christine Devon, who works as a medical health professional, worry about the unexpected financial strain this will put on her family and others. I have not been in work. This is my first week back at work, but we also closed down too, so for safety. Are y'all getting paid during this time? I know. I know some of the schools are providing food, but still you have a lot of kids and need certain things. That's one of the problems. One of the problems is with us parents being out of work. We not having the income to provide what we need to provide, provide for the kids and also take care of the bills. She and all Duval County parents are being asked to fill out this online survey, asking if their children need a laptop or if they have Wi-Fi access. You're able to fill it out online or on your cell phone. Beginning on Monday morning, elementary grade instructional packets will be available online on Duval Homeroom. They'll also be available to pick up at elementary schools beginning next week and will be distributed at bus stops. DCPS says the schedule of bus stop times and locations will also be posted on Duval Homeroom Monday morning. Parents like Virginia worry about the logistics. Please, Lord, help me <laughs> in helping her child do the work. I think it's wonderful because they're thinking about the kids. I'm working from home as much as I can, but then having to make sure that he's going to be on a schedule and get his schoolwork done. Um, that's going to be difficult enough. And here's what's important to do now. First, get that survey done. Uh, they really need to know the information about your laptop and Wi-Fi access. Next, go ahead and save the Duval Homeroom webpage link. They're going to be delivering educational packets to bus stops, and they'll be available at elementary schools, but they're also going to be uploaded to that Duval Homeroom page. We posted that link on newsforjacks.com. You can also find the bus stop schedule for Monday on there. We know a lot of parents have been asking about that. Another important thing for high school students to keep in mind you can right now apply for that free hotspot Wi-Fi program you'll need Wi-Fi in order to do this program and there's already a way for you to get that hotspot we're gonna post the link for you for that as well on our page newsforjacks.com reporting live in Jacksonville Kelly Wiley channel 4 the local station